So this is the syllabus. Uh, my name again is Sun Young Kim, but I go by Sunny. So you can call me Sunny or Dr. Kim, either way works. My office is located in ETMSW 3404. Uh, we have office hour, uh, online office hour through Google Doc uh, every Sunday from 11 a.m. to uh, 12 noon. So if you want to chat, if you have any question concerns, so if you want to chat with me, you can visit our Google Doc page through this link, or we can have in in person um, meeting by appointment. This is my contact information, uh, Sunny Kim at uic.edu. So you can email me if you have any questions or concerns as well. This course is fully online course. Again, we are going to use this uh, Cooper et al's Applied Behavior Analysis Second Edition. I know most of you took SPD 514 already. So if you have, I know you have second edition, you can continue to use it. But if you have not taken SPD 514 yet, but if you're planning to take it in the summer 2020 or the future, please purchase the third edition, Cooper, Heron, and Heward Applied Behavior Analysis, third edition. Uh, other readings will be available on Blackboard, uh, BB. So the course, course description again, the purpose of this course is to provide teachers and other school personnel with advanced knowledge related to the development of systematic behavioral intervention plans for individuals with disability based on principle, principles of applied behavior analysis, ABA. The topic to be covered uh, include selecting, defining, and measuring target behaviors uh, fundamental elements of behavior change, procedures for developing a functional hypothesis such as conducting interviews and observations, methods for using collected information to determine the function of the problem behavior, methods for developing function-based intervention and collaborating with core stakeholders to ensure they are implemented as intended, and procedures for monitoring the procedural integrity and effectiveness of the behavioral program. Um, course expectation, this course will be administered online as such. The course expectations differ from more traditional classes that meet in person. A majority of your time will be spent working independently on class activity. Uh, you should know that stu um, you should know that all the course materials for each week will be available on um, Wednesday morning and you have to complete everything by the the following Monday at 11.59 p.m. Uh, there is only one exception. You can comment on two other classmates' discussion for the week by the following Tuesday. So everything should be turned uh, in by Monday midnight, but uh, there's only one exception. You can comment on two other classmates' discussion post by Tuesday midnight 11:59 but uh you know for your convenience uh i made week 1 through 7 materials available already so you can visit the blackboard anytime you can complete uh you can complete the uh you can complete them anytime before due date okay disability accommodation if you have any disability, so if you need accommodation, please let me know. I'll make the best accommodation for you. That's my job. And um, course implementation, this course will be implemented through Blackboard. Um, you should know how to use uh, Blackboard if you want to learn how to use it. Uh, uh, email me. I will uh, give you a brief 
uh, instruction how to use uh, Blackboard for this course. Um, course assignments, um, the course assignments have been designed with two objectives. The first goal of the course is to ensure that students of this course are uh, able to use methods, instruments, and procedures to determine the function of students' problem behavior. This will be uh, uh, assessed through the completion of assignments developed specifically to collect and synthesize information related to the student behavioral function. The second goal is to assist the students um, in using this information to develop a function-based behavior intervention and apply the intervention in practice. As such, students will be required to develop a function-based intervention and ensure that it uh, it's implemented in an applied context. These assignments will be completed across the semester through a practicum report. This report will be used as ongoing formative assessment within the class to measure students' understanding of uh, course information. Further descriptions of these assignments are uh, provided below. So the first one, the the first one is practical report. This is the biggest assignment for this course. Um, you will have to find a child or student or individual, uh, age doesn't matter. You will uh, have to find a child, student, or individual with disability or behavioral issue or delay and you are going to work with that person throughout the semester. So you will have to find one person um, to work with throughout the semester. So this assignment, uh, for this assignment, um, you are going to complete different steps across the semester. Um, specifically, you will complete a functional behavior assessment called FBA and you will develop a behavioral intervention plan called BIP and you are going to use the uh, required Illinois form provide by, provide, provided by uh, Illinois um, State Board of Education. Uh, you are going to choose one intervention from the BIP you developed and then you will implement the intervention strategy to determine whether it worked and how identify issues regarding its implementation. As such, the practicum report will require you to select a target student with disability or with delay or uh, behavior issue then you will target an area of academic, social, or behavioral needs. Um, you must implement the uh, plan and intervention, and you will collect data to determine the effects of the intervention. Please remember to use a pseudonym for the target students and school or clinic or program in order to ensure the confidentiality. All forms and reflections should be shared on Blackboard using the tools that are available. Um, and samples and, and uh, forms are available on Blackboard. Okay, you see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps for this practicum report. Before you start, if you need to get official for permission, from the program or um, school or uh, parents uh, you want to work with, go to Blackboard here. Uh, this is the the our course Blackboard page. If you go to Blackboard here. Uh, if you click practicum report form and examples, then you will see this form. So if you need to get the official permission from school, clinics, or other program, or parents, um, 
to implement the assignment for this assignment for this class, uh, you can download the form and get the signed from the program director or uh, school teacher or the parents. Uh, so you can keep the, the signed form for your safety. It's not for me, it's for your safety. Before you implement, you can get official permission as needed. Okay, and you see uh, for each step, I provide the empty form or samples so you, so you can take a look at them before you prepare your own uh, paper. Okay, the second um, assignment is called online class participation. Class participation is an important component of this class given that you are working online and do not have direct contact with classmates. So using the tools that are available in Blackboard, students are expected to participate in group discussion by posting um, their responses to the weekly discussion question. So I will give you one discussion question um, Then you can provide your answer to the question in a short paragraph format like three to five sentences or more Then you have to comment on two other classmates discussion so you can reply uh, the student uh, other classmates uh, discussion Failure to post responses and comments to classmates, uh, classmates' points, posts will result in reduced grade. No partial points will be given. So if you miss like um, one component, like let's say you didn't provide comment to one other classmate work, then you will not able to receive points for the participation for the week. Late assignment policy. Assignments that are uh, turned in late are subject to a 10% grade reduction for each week past the due date. For example, a paper that is turned in one day late will, be, will obtain a 10% reduction in grade earned. A paper that is 8 days late will suffer a 20% um, reduction in the, course, uh, the score uh, earned. Also, if you have left any learning tasks incomplete for more than two weeks, you will be considered uh, that will be considered as excessive absence or a pattern of tardiness, which are subject to an overgrading penalty of one letter grade reduction for the course. If you need more time to complete like online learning, then that's okay, let me know. Uh, no one know what's gonna happen in their life, but uh, let me know before uh, due date so you can get some extension, that's okay. Don't pass the due date. Uh, you see the grading policy and scale. This, this course is graduate course, so there will be no plus minus, only A, B, C, D, E, uh, F, A, B, C, D, F, the letter grade. Um, from page seven, you're seeing the policies and key standards. Uh, page 10, uh, the course schedule. Um, so week one, um, you have to complete your uh, learning by January 20. That's the due date for week one. And these are the topics to be covered in week one. And reading here, uh, BB means Blackboard. So this reading will be available on Blackboard. And this one, uh, chapter one is um, the Cooper's book, chapter one. Um, this is second edition. This is for second edition users. So if you are using Cooper's third edition, 
uh, let me know. I will give you new chapter. Email me and saying you're using third edition, so you need to have new chapter number. So I will uh, give you new chapter number again. This chapter number for uh, second edition users. I know most of you have second edition, so I put just second edition uh, chapter number here. And assignment due here and link, so you can take a look at them. Uh, but basically, uh, every in single information for each week is available on Blackboard. So uh, if you go, uh, go to Blackboard, for example, uh, here, I told you that week I made uh, week 1 to 7 materials available already. So you will see from 1, 2, 3, 4, five to six if you click uh, week one for example this is uh, what we are going to do for week one and here's things to do for this week so you can download and read syllabus blah 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 and you have five tasks to do for week one uh, for your convenience uh, um, this task list one two three four five are matched with these uh, task item below so you can make sure you complete every single things for each week. Okay, so you can download syllabus and read and uh, this is online discussions and readings. Um, and you can take a look at lecture. Uh, and then this is a link for uh, online office hour. You don't have to worry about BCBA. Uh, so that's for week one due day is here january 20 week one right and then uh, week two same way uh, these are the objectives and topic here and things to do for week two so you can um, follow the order like here okay okay uh, going back to our uh, syllabus, so this is for uh, rubric. This is rubric for online class participation. Just take a look at five points are maximum for each week. And then uh, the next page includes uh, rubric for practicum reports. You see one, um, this practicum report has eight different um, steps. So I'm going to use this holistic rubric for the whole um, practicum report, uh, step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we, I'm going to use it. The due date for each step is listed. Here, step one, two, three, four, uh, five. So make sure you're turning uh, in the assignment on time if you need more time let me know before due date okay i'm flexible so um i can give you enough time for you to complete your assignment um okay so that's our syllabus uh if you have any question again let me know anytime through email or through our online our um uh, online office hour okay